Okay. Well, we're here at Fort Knox Reservation. And what this is, this area is, um, it's a hiking trail here on Fort Knox. It's open to the public. And you can see it's a paved road right now. But this used to be called the L and N Parkway, which was called which was the Louisville and Nashville Parkway. It was the, like the first parkway like built in Kentucky, or one of the first. Of course, back then this would have been solid gravel. Now it's paved because um, Fort Knox uses this area, or they can use this area for training. And when you first come in up here, uh, you know the road is blocked, and you can go around it for hiking. Uh, so they usually only close it off if they're going to have training going on. Now, the Louisville and Nashville Parkway, like I can say, was one of the first, I guess you could say, modern roads built in Kentucky, my understanding. And it was built around about, I think, around 1830. So, you know, that's been, you know, well over, over 100 years. Um, and back then, I mean, they used stage coaches and horses, my understanding was. It was a parkway, but it was also a toll road back then because it cost a lot of money to build. And it basically went from Louisville, Kentucky, through Fort Knox on down to Bowling Green and then to Nashville. Uh, now the main road is used as 31W, which, you know, is the four-lane highway that goes all the way down to Nashville. Now, back then, of course, this was a big undertaking. Uh, you can well imagine in 1830, you know, making a road and gravel on it and everything. And like I said, they used to charge, it was a toll road back then. And so they used to charge uh, people who traveled it in stagecoaches. And of course, along the way, because, you know, they couldn't travel that much, um, you know, during the day, as far as, you know, miles, I don't know how many miles they could travel back then. Probably, I'd say probably anywhere from probably maybe up to 40, 50 miles a day, maybe depending on the weather and all that, what time we started out. But but along the way, though, they had hotels. Now, there was, like, hotels built up back up in here, which are long gone. Um, you know, people would stop and they would stay and um, stay for the night, get fed, that kind of thing, and then they would move on. Um, I mean, this used to be a lot of, um, uh, you know, like farms and mills, blacksmith and all that kind of stuff back then, back on this road also. But like I say, it's been closed down for so long that, I mean, nothing's back here anymore. Like, so this is the Fort, Fort Knox Reservation. Now, instead of calling it the l and Parkway, they, this little hiking trail, which goes back here about one mile, and then you can hike back. And I used to jog this many years ago, um, just two miles a day uh, for many years and then they blocked this road off the military did for whatever reason they closed it down for many years and then they opened it back up a few years ago now one of the things that you can see would you know would take a lot of money to build back then you can see this road is called bridges from the past now it's not ellen and parkway anymore it's called bridges from the past and the reason why they call it bridges from the past as you can see was these intricate stone um stone bridges that uh you know they made across the creeks and that's why it was called um bridges from the past um if i can find some information about this i will post this with a video um it's very pretty back here uh scenic there's not many people that come back here anymore used to be a lot more before they closed it down and it seemed like people just quit coming here but it is very pretty back here um I'm sure there's some spots where I do paranormal investigations, and if you could find where uh, these houses were built, the hotels were built, that kind of thing, I would like to do some paranormal, paranormal investigations back here. Uh, but, you know, for one thing, you're not really supposed to wander off the road, you know, here. Uh, but, um, you know, I guess you could a few feet anyway. Uh, there is a place I'm going to stop at and do an investigation back here once I get back, all the way back here. So I'll probably turn this off here in a few seconds. Uh, I'll walk a little bit so you can see the area. But there used to be a lot of signs back here too, which they're gone now, which they've been torn out of vandals. Used to be a lot of signs back here where you could see, where they would say, you know, what was built back here. 
that kind of thing. And I know that there was going on around, there used to be a hotel on top of the hill up there, it had a sign. Then if you go a few ridges over here, they have, they have another um, hiking trail, which goes back to Tioga Falls. Very, very beautiful falls. It's where the Indians uh, used to use it. Uh, it was a sacred spot, that kind of thing. And uh, and then they also used Tioga Falls uh, when they built this parkway. They dammed at the bottom of the falls and they used it for a swimming hole for the hotel. So um, you can see this is another bridge. There's like three or four of these back here, these old bridges left. Um, of course, if you go on Fort Knox, I mean itself where, you know, it's blocked off i'm sure this road goes way on and you could probably see quite a few of these but this is really the only part that you can see the bridges where they have the hiking trail um very interesting very beautiful back here so uh let me take and uh when i get on up here i'm going to um basically turn turn the camera off right now and i'll uh turn it on when i get back up here and record some more so um, we'll see you a little bit later. Thanks.